Hello everybody and thanks for watching Police Tube. I've got a great video for you today that I'm certain you've never seen before and it's truly one of the gold standard Jeremy DeWitt videos from his own body camera. Now this takes place in 2015 and it features a young Jeremy DeWitt and a young Corporal John Ramsey. You see Jeremy DeWitt got pulled over and by Orange County Sheriff's Department and then Corporal John Ramsey showed up on the scene and after looking into Jeremy DeWitt, Corporal John Ramsey told Jeremy that he's running his business illegally and he's got some major problems. I find this odd because uh, this is in 2015 but just a couple of years later Jeremy DeWitt went on the news and said that he's been running his business clean for 10 years told us law enforcement was harassing him. For 10 years, there was no problems up until just recently. So for 10 years, obviously, I've been doing the right thing and I've been running my business the right way. Now, Jeremy made this statement on the news about five years after this traffic stop with Corporal John Ramsey, where Corporal John Ramsey literally told Jeremy that you're running your business improperly and you've got big problems if you don't make some changes. That was five years before he went on the news and told everybody that he's been running his business clean for 10 years without a problem. This is the video that we've all been waiting for. Nobody's really seen any of this video except for a small clip of it on Real World Police a couple years ago. So now I'm going to unveil it. I'm going to premiere it right here, right now on Police Tube. Now in this video, Jeremy gets asked about his military service and he tries to distract from that. He also lies heavily about the number of cars in the funeral and we're going to count that here. And if you're wondering if this is the video where Jeremy says he was issued 30 tickets by John Ramsey, the answer is yes, this is the video. But we're going to see that John Ramsey didn't even issue him one ticket. In fact, Jeremy DeWitt only got three tickets issued to him by another officer this day. Very exciting times. Now, uh, let me just preface this video with letting you know that this is 2015. So this is very early in the Orange County Jeremy DeWitt saga of Jeremy DeWitt breaking the law and getting pulled over by uh, Keith Vidler and Corporal John Ramsey and other people in Orlando and Orange County Sheriff and, you know, Osceola all over the place, basically. But this is when Ramsey really started breaking down the law to him. So if you guys want to see this, make sure you comment yes in the chat right now everybody comment yes in the chat in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up and we will start this video one thing i do want to urge you to do is check the links in the description to this video because i want you to subscribe to my email newsletter if you're interested in police tube or jeremy dewitt let me stay in contact with you it's a nice newsletter you can unsubscribe anytime if you don't like it you get your 100% money back. It's a guarantee. So check that link in the description. You can go ahead and do that now. And as for everything else, we're going to go ahead and get started with this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you enjoy this video. Stick around, too, because it's going to be a long one. All right, let's go ahead and pull this thing up. Make it a left, Manny. You should be blocking the left. There you go, brother. Right lane! Right lane! Sir! You guys only hired two. There's like 80, there's almost 100 cars. When we get to downtown Orlando, when we get on Mills, we got to go slow because we're going to have to keep them tight or else we're going to lose them, okay? Dog, that's a lot of fucking cars. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's too many for just three of us, bro. I got this light. I'm in the far left of the left wheel track, left lane. Watch the cross traffic as you guys are moving up Princeton. I'm going to count the cars. Lots of people don't pay attention. Business is in home. Business is in home. Watch it.
You almost look sexy, Dylan. Almost. Is the red Audi part of the Escort? Okay. You moving, Manny? Yep, we forgot to advise. We gotta know. This is a bad day. Watch this Lexus. Or OPD Motors. OPD Motors is coming. OPD Motors is coming. What did you guys do? What? What? Why are all these cars red? Go through at a red light. It's a funeral, sir. Yeah, you can't block a road like this. You yes, well, sir. We just got done with your lawyer and Captain Chapman along, and they said yes, we can along with the major. This is the last vehicle. Let, come on, come on. Yeah, he's saying we can't hold. Guys. They're pulling me over. Sir. Sir, you guys are stopping me from an escort right now. There's a huge family that needs us. Sir, they're coming for you. They're fine. Sir, we're we're not breaking the law. Yes, they're stopping the escort. Stop the whole escort. Get it on film for Channel Nine. Tell them something, because this is, well, I don't know what's going on. Orange County. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know, dog. It's not Edgewater, it's going straight past Edgewater. Roger. Roger. Manny, there's there's only two of them. Cut off the funeral. You take just the first 10 vehicles. Take it down to Mills. Make a right on Mills. Get it to Greenwood. Finish the escort. I can't, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, I do. to the legal counsel and they said as long as we enter legally on a green light we're allowed to hold the escort line okay. that's what we did when did you talk to uh, the legal counsel just on last week or the week before with captain chapman and it was about three weeks ago but yes okay and they said as long as we enter the intersection on a green with the escort we're not breaking the law okay. and, uh, So wait, let me ask you, when you when you met stop. When you met with the legal counsel. Right. Right? What did they tell you about using the horn? The horn they said as long as we're using it for our safety, we're allowed to, and that's exactly what the so legal counsel. You're allowed counsel. to use the air horn, not the regular horn on the bike. They told you that. He said we're allowed to use the horn, sir. Are you allowed to use the horn that's not the permanent part of the bike, the air horn that you attach to the bike, are you allowed to use that? Under Show Florida statute. statute, it doesn't say we're not. Show me where it, it says, says bell, whistles, and sirens only, sir. Okay. Bells, whistles, and sirens only, sir. It, it clearly says that the statute. Anything over a harsh anything, siren sound. It says anything in the statute you cannot use that's not a regular horn that's manufactured and placed on the vehicle, which is in this case not. I, the the light was green, sir. Doesn't matter. You can't stop in the middle of this. That that is not what they said. As long as the funeral enters, we can advise the traffic, the legal counsel with Captain Chapman in the meeting. Okay. I am telling you. Okay. Because right, I've already talked with uh, Captain Chapman. Sir, 
Florida that statute. About that meeting. Florida statute does not say we can't hold that intersection properly. What does safely. Florida statute say for a funeral escort? It says the procession must be one vehicle after another. It Correct. says accompanying the body, it's allowed to accompany any location. Therefore, any violations? If you have a violation, you don't have to stop the funeral procession, but grand pull them over and do what you have to do. If they stop you, stop the whole funeral procession and make sure it's on film. They will not be stopping the whole funeral procession. I That's will stop our stop funeral stop. procession because it's unsafe if you stop our officers, sir. It is not unsafe. It is. It is not. If your officers are breaking the law, there's nothing about safety. Nobody's there. breaking have... the law, Listen. Corporal. Yes, they are. No, sir. We're waiting for the We're waiting for the light to turn green, and then we're moving in and making sure that nobody crosses Listen. the escort. Yes, sir. You have the right to go through a green light. That's correct. It's a funeral procession. That is correct. You have the right to continue to go through that if the light turns red. That is correct. Nowhere in the statute does it say you have the right to get off your bike or to pull into the intersection and to take control of that intersection. Nowhere does it say that. Does it say that? But it, does it say it? But Don't it, tell it, me it doesn't but say corporal, it. So it doesn't say we're not allowed to either. Okay, well, so you can't read into it. If it doesn't say it, you can't do it. If this says... Sir, this is exactly what the judge already threw out in court. Okay. But then I tell you what, you're going to get a ticket for it. Yes, you're sir. You're more than welcome to contest okay, it. Okay, Corporal. Thank All you, right? Corporal. And, and he will show up to court. I will be there. I, and, I hear you, And sir. we will make sure that the judge understands what was going on. Because I can't say what happened and when you went to court before or whoever but did court, before. He just advised you that he pulled me over for the air horn, not for the intersection, because I was legally in the intersection. In fact, when he went 97 on us, the light was still green. Yeah, three violations. Go you, off the bike, you stop the middle intersection, the horn, okay. and you hold the traffic. Okay, sir. <laughs> Say again. If it's not in the box, that's because it's the new motor. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's at the office, but it's 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 valid. Dylan, are you pulled over too? Are you finishing the escort? Dylan? I can't hear you. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. We were doing the speed limit and we didn't burn an intersection. It was a green light, sir. with the phone today. This is fucking bullshit, dude.
Manny, are you up? Manny, you up? Are you up? Are you up? Dylan. Dylan. Are you up? Are you okay? Roger. Oh yeah. They're saying they're they're saying the same thing that we're that No it doesn't. No it We read I have the registration right. I have the registration right here, dude. No, I have the reg. Manny, I have the registration right here. Manny, easy, easy, Manny, easy. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Manny, can you hear me? Manny, can you hear me? Calm down, Manny. Dylan. I don't know. I don't know. He can't hear me, and I, I don't. Favorite, turn off all the, these blinking lights. Corporal, I, I'm really. We we just met with the attorney, and the attorney. Okay. I, I can't hear I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Then take your helmet off so you can hear us, please. Say again? You still live here? Yes, sir. Hey, give me a favor, take your helmet off so you can hear us. I, I need to stay in communication with no, my two sir. guys. If you can't hear us, I, I can't. Our safety I can't. Yours, okay. then, then I'll turn it down. Again. I'll turn it down for you. Okay. Out there. The the the. Well, I'm trying to figure out again. when 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 Captain Chapman sent the charges to the state for impersonating charges and the state turned it down. What wasn't that? Wasn't what impersonating I, I, charges? I don't know of any cases that have been sent to the state that says you were impersonating. Really? Because one of your motor sergeants told us the same thing. Told us that they sent it to the state and it was turned down because we were high vis and we don't have police anywhere. Well, let me ask and we you, don't tell anyone we're police officers at sergeant, all. What motor sergeant did you tell that to? Uh, or did, they didn't tell. He what told me. Told you that. Then, and then he's I, Orange County, and listen, I don't want to say his name and get him in then trouble. I can't believe you. Okay, okay, Corp. Because this is why I know for a fact that there have not been any cases, not one, sent to the state attorney claiming that you all were impersonating law enforcement. Because we're not. Okay. Well, I, I don't know that. I'm telling you. I can tell you for a fact. No cases have been sent to the state attorney. But Corp, we're not. I see what you're taking pictures of, and we're not doing anything. Our bikes are clearly marked. Did you take a picture of the purple and white light so that way that, that whoever, when you're building the case, they can see that they have purple white? State statute for doing pseudo less says what type of light can you have on your bike? So then how come you guys don't what pull over Curtis? Stuff? How come you don't pull over Curtis for green and Listen, amber? We are here I, talking to you. I, Corporal. Not to them. If we okay. have issues with them because they're violating the law, we'll deal with them. That has nothing to do with you. So don't go, well, why aren't you punishing this I'm person? just asking a question. We are dealing only with you right now. We have purple and white, Corporal. Okay. And Lieutenant, what does, Lieutenant Minutes I with don't Orange care County. what Lieutenant okay. Minutes has told you. I have talked to Lieutenant Minutes. And he told us to put purple. I have talked uh -huh. 
Lieutenant Minnis, yes, on many occasions. Okay. All right. And he has never told you to do the way you've done. That's first. Second, the state statute clearly says that it has to be a rotating light. It doesn't say you can have these type of lights. Okay. All right. Your bike is covered with these type of lights. Okay. All right. And it says the purple light only. Okay. It can be the green light. It can be an amber. It can't be green at all. Okay. Well. It doesn't say you can have clear at all, but okay. yet you have clear, right. correct? Yes, so because, each, because, go ahead, go ahead. Each one is a violation. Okay, but see, Whalen doesn't make purple lights, so we had to specially get tint put on them so that they are within. Okay. So with the tint, why didn't you tint all the way across? Because the tinting office, I guess something about they can't stretch the tint long enough because the tint can only contour so much. That's why if you measure, they're exactly the same length. Because if they go any further, they can't. Do it. Look, look at me. Listen yes, welcome. It. Do I look like I just woke up yesterday no, and sir. took on this job? No, sir. Of course not. I'm okay. just advising so, you what they told me. How do they tint windows on cars? It's not the same tint. It's, okay. Listen to me. Roger. If that was the case, then they could take another piece like this and put it right in the middle. You'd have three that's, pieces, that but is they true. haven't. So your excuse that they can't stretch is not going to fly. Okay. Each light that is clear is a violation. Okay. Does, does that make sense? I rolled up here and I've seen every light that's on here that's clear is in a violation. You carry the statute. Would you like me to point it out in your statute where it says that you cannot have clear lights? It says we can have purple, but it, th okay, there's so no so statute that doesn't say we can't have clear. That's incorrect. There is a statute. The only vehicles that can have clear would be like a construction vehicle in the premise of their duties. Or a, a vehicle bus. or a vehicle a that's bus. transporting vehicles. A school bus. Okay, yes sir. Okay. But nowhere does it say that you can have it on your bike to go down the road. Nowhere does it say that you can do it during a funeral escort. <clears throat> Just because it doesn't say you can't in the statute, the fact that it says you can doesn't say you can is the fact right there. Okay? Right. Yes. Sir. I mean that's that's all you need. You can't read into it and go, well, since it doesn't say, I'm going to do it, and they can't say nothing. Okay. It doesn't work that way. We'll, we'll do our best to get them tinted all the way through, Corp. Well, but you're going to get a ticket for each one of them today. Are you up? Dylan, are you up? Okay. Let's do it. Yes, sir. I have personally spoken to you in the past. Yes. Right? Yeah. We have met before. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and I've told you in a suggestive manner that you should get your stuff corrected so that you don't have these violations, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And then when we went to the meeting and, and the other listen, day... Okay. I'm, yes, I'm not talking about the meeting, okay? Yes, I'm telling you what I gave you advice on. We met at a funeral for right. a soldier. Do you not yes, remember that? And we changed our and, uniforms and like you, you asked. And you said to me, what is the problem? I said, I don't know of any problem between uh -huh. us and the sheriff's office, or you and the sheriff's office. Right. And you said, well, it seems like, and I said, no, I said, it's because you keep having these same violations over and over again, it's almost like you're sticking your nose up at us, correct? Roger, yes, sir. Okay, so at that time, I suggested to you that you correct your stuff so you stop getting pulled over. You do it the correct way so you stop getting pulled over, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're still out here doing the same thing. I know in the meeting that you had, right, approximately three weeks ago, yes, sir. you said, we're not going down the road blowing our air horn. We're not holding intersections. We're not doing these things. I know for a fact you said those things, okay? The fact that you're still doing it means that you're throwing your no uh, nose up at us. So, not at all, Corporal. That? Corporal, I'm telling you right now that I never said at all that we are not holding intersections. In fact, we specifically said that to the Major and Captain Chapman along with the lawyer, and the Major even said, as long as we're entering that light on a green light, then we are safely allowed to stand there and advise the public. You're not. You're not. Well, Stand there, get off your bike, and direct. Because ultimately, this is what you're doing. You're, stop, you're directing traffic. Okay. So let's say it's this intersection right here. Right. Okay. And you're standing there, and somebody wants to turn, and they can't turn now because you're holding traffic. No, sir. 
anyone me, that's I'm going this way, this oh, I'm listening. As okay. an analogy, that's right. it. I'm not saying it's a specific place, because I was right. not here, I did not witness that. Right. Okay? I'm saying, if you're in an intersection, uh -huh. and people are not able to turn, they could legally turn because you're holding them up, because you're trying to get your funeral procession through, which will not interfere with their travel. Right. But because of your placement in the intersection, they cannot go. You cannot no, do that. The I let that car, that I, right. in fact, I let a car turn. I only stop to make sure that nobody goes when the light cycles and crosses. What That's I'm it. Is All this traffic. Listen, okay, yes, Corporal. You're sorry. trying to convince me of what you occurred here today. I am telling you, overall, not this specific intersection, overall, you putting yourself in the intersection, one, creates a liability. Okay? Two, now you're controlling the intersection because somebody who doesn't know that you're not a police officer will come up and assume that you're in some type of law enforcement capacity and they're going to stop. They're not going to turn, even though they might be able to turn or go straight or whatever it is they're doing. But that legally can do because you are off your bike we, in the intersection. And we don't tell anybody any traffic laws at all. We don't direct Listen, traffic in any way, so shape, arms, or form. So you just told me your arms are up in the intersection. When, when the, the light cycles, up, when the light cycles, we up? will let them know to hold on until the lights okay. because of the funeral. Are you not now directing traffic? For the cross traffic that will enter Answer the escort. Answer the question without trying to give an explanation. Are Corporal, you directing traffic when you put your arms I up? I am not directing traffic. I'm so directing the threat. Up. I'm directing the okay. threat to the people of the okay. escort. All right, not a problem. I mean, you can word it however you want. Okay? I, it, but that's you're, what you're it is, Corp. But this no, Corp. You're out here. Listen, if you want a good, <laughs> legitimate business, you got it. You can do it. But you're not doing it. You're not doing it when you keep breaking the laws, okay? You're drawing attention to yourself. That's, that's how we found out that you were out here doing it right now. Because we're back at an intersection in a business. Right. And we hear you go by hitting your air horns and we see you. Right. That's what drew our the attention to you. You were probably at the not, Equip Tech, and that's listen, great. Absolutely, that's not where we were at. Okay. It was much further back. But this is what I'm telling you. You drew the attention. If you were on your bikes doing a normal escort. Right. Okay, legally. We never would have noticed you. Okay. And if we did notice you, it wouldn't have been any... But then how come you guys didn't notice the 18-wheeler that cut off the escort, and that's why we were blowing our horns and almost caused an accident? And you guys aren't there writing him a citation for entering so, the escort. Which which time? Because you blew your horn multiple times. So which time are you referring to? Was the same semi-truck following you the whole time? Uh, yeah, it entered the intersection and followed us down, and we were trying to which get it out. Which intersection? Right at... Uh, Claire Kona Okoe and, and uh, OBT. Okay. So we and got that got us that. all the way down to um, where the uh, old, uh, uh, what is that restaurant called? So he followed you all the way down to, um, what is that old restaurant called? Uh, the 7-Eleven. I can't remember the car. It's right before John Young and 50, OBT, the, the traffic light there where the, the old restaurant used to be. It's shut down. And okay. we finally got him out there. Okay. So... He followed you all the way down there. In the escort. And he was going How so fast slow. How your escort going? The escort was actually doing 10 under the speed limit. Okay. And he was going so slow that the gap was getting bigger and bigger, even though we were doing 10 under the speed limit. Because okay. he couldn't figure out why we were telling him to get out of, out of the escort's way, because he kept stopping. Okay. Where in the statute does it say you can go up and tell a vehicle that's moving down the road that they have to get out of the way? If they enter the escort illegally and then stop okay. at the red light, you're now cutting off the escort. What's the where point of an it, escort? Where, listen, read your statute. Okay, your statute says law enforcement can take action to correct that, not you. Where in the statute does it say you can do that? But where in the statute does Go it fly. not say I can't ask him to nicely get okay. out of the escort? Where in the statute does it say that you can break your formation and says you're supposed to keep tight, like one vehicle, correct? The only exception that it puts in there... But, Listen, I had to break formation because the 18-wheeler cut it. The only exception yes, that it gives you in that statute to violate any laws is the following too closely law. Correct? That's in there. It says that you cannot be charged with following too, following right, too closely. Right. You can't tailgate. Correct. In, yeah, a as, funeral for procession. As long right. As but that's procession. for the procession. Everybody must have lights on, Mark. Correct. We have amber rotating Correct. lights. It doesn't say anything about flashing LEDs or strobe but lights. But that doesn't statute say was written in 1974, sir. It doesn't matter. Then I would suggest okay. you go up to Tallahassee and get it changed like everybody else would. Okay? okay. So that's why I'm not going to write you for having the, the, uh, the type of lights you have. Okay? Technically, the statute says this, all right? Now, this is where common sense comes in. Common sense says, well, yeah, the statute was written a long time ago, so things have progressed since then. Right. So just because it hasn't been put in doesn't mean it really, you know, it hasn't changed. It still says amber. Doesn't matter. 
You're but, not going to get around that. But then, purple. again. It still says that. You're not going to get around that. It doesn't say anywhere in there that it's changed. The statute has been updated to say what vehicles can have clear strobes. And yours is not one. We don't have clear strobes. We have clear LEDs. Sarah, this right here, strobes. It, I pulled up. They were all strobing. A strobe okay. is something that's flashing hey, on and off. I'm sorry? I yellow. We can do yellow. We just did purple because Lieutenant Minutes, when I talked to him, contrary to what the corporal's saying, the, the, the corporal did, or uh, Lieutenant Minutes said, can you just throw some purple in there, get some filters, and that's what we did. We just did what he asked. And then when we were at the meeting, Captain Chapman and the Major talked about our lights, and we asked clearly, should we make them all purple or are they fine? Because we brought up Curtis, and Curtis uses green and amber. And per Florida statute, a green flashing light anywhere on city roadways is 100% illegal and can be factored as a red blue light because only a fire scene commander can use a green light. Corporal, am I, am I right about that? Only a scene commander for the fire department can use green on the city roadways? The reason why security can have green and amber is only on property while transversing city streets they can't use green at all because green is for scene commanders only for the fire department? I started with one bike, sir. One bike and a lot of balls. And then I started another, then I got another bike and we've been doing it. We did it for five years until all of a sudden now, within the last six months, you guys have been on us. It's not been the last six months because I have dealt with you with, uh, over a year ago. So I know no, you, the only time you've ever talked to me was at that, that ranger's funeral, sir. No, and that was only... There's been one other time since then, sir. Not me. Yes, we do. Me? You in a small group. <sighs> the only time I remember, so I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I've been dropped on my head a few times. Listen the only time I remember you is at the airport, listen Corporal. I apologize. Listen, I have nothing against you. And I it wish it appears that way, no. Corporal. I wish no. your business would succeed. As a matter of fact, I wish you You and Captain well. Chapman keep saying that, but yet well, you're I, harassing us no, for I'm, doing sir, something that we didn't wait. do illegal. Do you have lights on here that are illegal? No, sir. Okay, in your opinion. No, my, sir. Listen, in my opinion, The you statute do. clearly says the only vehicles... It, it, and, and actually, the, show me, if the you statute... Show me right now in your paperwork... I, I don't have the statute listen, book with me. I apologize. You can show me we don't, in your... I know you I'm not, carry... I'm not someone county you or carry, Orange County Sheriff's Office. I can issue statute books to every officer. They're, I know they're like $200 you carry a, a statute for, the, for funeral. the funeral. Yes, I do. Show me in there where it says you can have clear lights. It doesn't. It, listen to me. If you show me in there where it says clear lights, I won't write you any of these tickets. For corporal. You know I, it doesn't, I, I, and I know it doesn't, but it doesn't but, but say I can't have me, clear. It says I can't have red, blue only. Listen, it doesn't say... He's trying, he's trying to go around, so you're trying to go around. Yes, he's trying to play no, because it No, no, I'm not. Because, because the... Because it doesn't say it. No. Because I'm allowed to have it. We put purple because Lieutenant Minutes asked us yeah. to put filters on. That's what we did. We put the filters on, okay? Because Whalen obviously doesn't make purple. And I'm not going to use cheap knockoff lights so my guys get run over. I apologize and I'm sad and I apologize that you guys are offended because we use whaling lights like you, but you're safe because of your whaling lights. We're safe because of our whaling lights, whether they have purple or red or blue or amber and green, whatever the case may be. I, I, I truly hear what you guys are saying, but we talked clearly and we were told that the lights were fine. If, if we would have been advised differently of the lights, we would have added more color to it. I'll be happy to go add amber. I, if, if, if when we had the meetings, we were advised that, we'd be happy to. However, as the captain and the major both understood, we will stand in the intersections and we will continue to do this no matter what, with all due respect. Show me in the statute which says you can get off your bike and stand in the intersection. If you can show me that, we'll Corp. take it back. No, listen to me. Show Corporal, to me. let me ask you a question real fast. Please, no, let me I'm ask sure. you a question. Your other corporal with the motors said the same thing, and I'm going to repeat it. You're telling me that when I'm doing 200 car escort over 50 and John Young, that we're not supposed to stand in the intersection and make sure that when the light cycles we're five talking, times... Listen, we're talking about today. Sir, let's start off, OBT, let's start off, let's start OBT off and Princeton. How many vehicles did you have in your escort today? We had 110. There was 110 cars yes, in sir. that escort? There's 110 vehicles. I don't think so, guys. I know so, sir. Oh, 
Yep. Is it's for 110 vehicles in that escort? It was for a seven-year-old. 110 cars on the road. <laughs> there weren't even that many on the road when you went by. There was a. It's for a seven-year-old little boy, and there was 110 cars. We counted as they left the so cemetery. So you have 110 cars, and you only use them three bikes. How safe is that? How safe is that? There went your. I do on copy. That. Hold on, I'm talking. Are you? Give me a minute. Roger, you did. You finished it. I appreciate it. Please, whatever you're doing, go back 10-8 and don't come here. Okay, and make sure you stay on city streets because OPD is the only agency that seems to not have a problem. I know OPD assisted you on the escort. OPD Motors just assisted the one officer that you guys didn't pull over through the funeral. <laughs> it's, it's asinine. If we were speeding or if we were running red lights, I understand all day. And the guy that did that, and this is how it all started. I went to Egypt because my wife's from Egypt. I met her while I was overseas. I went to Egypt. I come home. Next thing I know, I have a, a OPD motor sergeant telling me about a video. So I make contact with you guys and them and come down and see the video. They show it to me. I immediately fucking fire the guy because he ran a red light right on video. And I'm like, what are you... Anyways, long story short, now it seems that that's the common belief. And I know for a fact that we stop at the red lights. It's starting to rain? Oh. Oh, we're good. Thank you, ma'am. So, and I try to be on all the funerals, so that way I can make sure that nobody's running red lights. And I can make sure that we're following all the state statute laws. But like the major said, and even the major agreed when he was in the meeting with us. Are you in the service? I'm sorry, sir. Are you in the service? Are you in the service? I, I don't know, sir. Are you in the military? I was in certain things, and sir, I can't. So, um, I went through certain schools and things like that, and my wife's from Egypt. So, anyways, the point of the story, sir, is, is we advise the major exactly what I'm telling you now that when there's so many cars, we have to stand there and make sure that the people know when the light turns green. And when you rolled up, the light just cycled. So, and those cars were starting to go, whether, and then you came up and hit your siren. So, I mean, if you didn't hit your so, siren and I wasn't telling those cars to stop. Buddy, right, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the other officer, correct. Right, because they were starting to roll. Dylan, are you the only one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Girl told me she was 18. <laughs> I was only 22 years old. It took three years for them to charge me. Three years. I'm 35. I've been married 11 years. The, yeah, I, I was just turned 23. And because it was a five year window, she was 15 or whatever it is. I don't really understand how it works. I still to this day don't understand why now there's a Romeo and Juliet law that came out after me for the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. You see that? Dylan, are you up? Dylan. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know how we got disconnected. Why? What? What are you talking about? That's to the, uh, the it's a valid tag to the motorcycle. Get Dylan on the phone. I, I gotta handle, this is bullshit, dude. Make sure your video camera's on. Please don't shut that off.
Hey, sir, it's Jeremy DeWitt. How are you? I'm fine. I'm standing with Orange County right now, and they just pulled us over. I'm sorry. I know you're probably busy. I need advice. I, I don't know what the to... They're towing one of my bikes. They're talking about... They're saying that they, they the, at the meeting, they said we were never allowed to do this. We had to be one in the front, one in the back. And that's what they're saying the major said, and that's what they're being told to do, and they're pulling us over now. Um, uh, saying that we were using our horn and standing in the intersection, never running a red light, none of that, just standing in the intersection, same thing, same bullshit, same exact thing that the major said we were fine. The exact same thing. Uh, it's rolling right now, sir. Uh, it's rolling on all three of my bikes because they, they sent two motors and a car and they got us. They got all three of us. And then the funny thing is, is the fourth officer that didn't get pulled over, he's doing the escort and OPD motorcycles in the city limits because they called them. They then turn around and help him do the escort and tell him that they don't see anything wrong and let him go and said, we're fine. That we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. But <laughs> I know, I know, I understand. <laughs> well, now he's writing me a ticket for each light on my motorcycle because they're purple and white. I hear you, sir. I hear you, sir. I No, I know, I know. Roger. We, the video, I do. And in fact, before I come over and drop it off, I'll make sure I download these real fast for you. Um, we, were, we were in the middle of the escort. We were coming right after because we were going to Greenwood Cemetery and we were gonna come and drop it off, but now we have all this. So um, we, we need to, I, if you don't want to file the lawsuit, we have to figure something out, sir, or somebody. This is, I, I know, and I'm sorry to keep bugging you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, and I, and I advise, it's the same corporal that harassed Ken. It's the same one that harassed him, and Ken explained to him the same things that Captain Chapman Colt told Ken. I'm explaining the same things to him, and he's telling me those conversations never happened. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right.
You know they're towing the bike. Yes. Because, because, because the, 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 somehow the wrong tags on the bike. We have so many fucking bikes that none of the tags are right. So they're towing. I, yeah, I guess. You need to see if you can get a hold of Manny and make, you're not doing the escort. They can't pull you over for coming to make sure he's okay. Go get the charger or something. But they're towing the bike. Uh, which doesn't make sense because I have a reg the registration right here, but it's whatever. Just, just, just let's get it figured out as soon as possible. Okay, all right. Make sure you have your camera on for the family, and I hope to God your fucking camera was charged and cleared for that OPD escort. Because Amir said if OPD backed you up, he, because I already talked to the lawyer. Yeah, well, I got another call coming. I don't know. Metro State. Yes, ma'am. We're actually on a funeral right now. Can I call you back at this number in about an hour? I, I do apologize, okay? Thank you. Bye. Listen to me. Somebody's on the phone with the corporal telling them I'm wearing a camera and they're pointing at it. So they're probably gonna try to come and take it from me. So I'm gonna keep you on the phone, but you, if they come and try to- I know you're right 
I know, but if they come and try to take my camera, dog, and if the, the, the SIM card disappears, because, dog, I didn't break in. Right I can't. I need to continue filming this, because this is going to be a long from over. This is their, their state. I mean, the one officer completely just said that I was standing in the intersection, but I went in on a green light, and now they're saying that I ran the red light. They're saying that uh, uh, we were blowing down the road at, a, at like way too fast, at like 100 and stuff. I mean, they're talking all kinds of crazy stuff. All kinds of crazy. They're going to write me a ticket for each light on my motorcycle that's white. Yeah. This is high. We're suing. We're suing for harassment. And we're going to the news. And then there. I'm on the phone with Maine. There's a fire rescue here. What are the legitimate pacemakers going on? Make sure you got your. I hope you're wearing your helmet. I'm wearing my hat, correct. Dylan, he should have kept your helmet on and got everything on film. Everything is on film. Not the fire rescue showing up and you helping out. Roger. Whatever. Are you still up? Listen to me. I want you to stay on the line so that way you can testify if they try to take my camera from me and I resist because I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give it to them. And if they try to charge me with resisting, I need a witness saying that I wasn't resisting. <clears throat> this is bullshit, dog. I don't know what to do. He just got off the phone, so he's going to get out of the car now. It's the corporal that was harassing Ken. That same guy. Yep, the same one. Yep. And they did switch to green shirts, like I told you. They switched to green shirts so that they, so they won't have white shirts because the white's too close to Metro. And they're saying that the meeting with the with the, the major, they never told us we could have lights. They said we had to have revolving lights. They said that we couldn't stand in the intersection. Um, that's exactly what they're saying, the major said. Which is funny because the major specifically said, no, if you go in on a green light, you're more than welcome to hold the intersection for safety. Remember? <laughs> And then the corporal said the same thing that Captain Chapman keeps saying. We want you to make super big bucks. We want you to become rich doing this. <laughs> Whatever. We were not, none of us were, I mean, we even sat at the red light at OBT and Princeton. This, this, oh, uh, I don't know. So. Don't hang up, but they're coming back to me. They're throwing a bunch of tickets away. trying to write me for every light, he said. Which is funny because Captain Chapman specifically said, I won't let them write you for having LED lights. Right, 
you can't even buy revolving lights. We're going to cause an accident with the way we're, we're in the road here. It's whatever, dog. I already called a mirror. He's... I don't know. I don't know, dog. This is a serious problem because they're towing a bike. It's going to cost me a lot of money. A lot of money. Which doesn't make sense because I have the registration. Make sure you're getting that on film. Make sure. Make sure you're getting everything on film, Dylan. I want I want funeral directors making statements on film. Yeah, I know you're putting your helmet on. I think he took pictures of my uniform. He took pictures of the badge. He took pictures of everything. Tell him this is like the first time this has ever happened. We are. the tow truck to go and tow Manny's bike. Car store, West Colonial Drive. Car store, West Colonial Drive. Car store, West Colonial Drive. Listen to me. You need to, s it's 45 cars after we cut it off of the 105. Did you hear me? It's 45 cars that you finished escorting after we had to cut off the 105 that we had. Yeah, it was 100, it was 102 or 105. Yeah. No, I know. We had to cut off half the family. Because that would have been unsafe if we kept them going. I'm going to call Manny. I'm going to call Manny. Stay on the line. Yeah, what's going on? How is that possible? That's the tag for the bike. We don't have a 97. to go to the tag office and take care of that now and then go get the bike out of Hawk. What? Oh my god, that's going to cost me a thousand dollars again. For what? The bike is registered. That's that's bullshit, Manny. I'll take care of it. What did you? All right. Why would you go somewhere? Oh, he 
left you with the bike and the tow truck coming? And they left? Yeah. Fuck that shit, I'm, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm like right now looking up the fucking Channel 9 number. Where are you videotaping? Yeah, I was videotaping. Did, did you take your helmet off now? No. Alright, Corporal. What's up, this, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Okay, sir. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Knowing knowing better, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here. Instead of giving you over 25 tickets, one for each individual strobe light that is blinking clear, okay? Just like a tenant, like a window uh, tent on a car. It's each individual window we can give a ticket for. Hold on. Hello? In the, in the uh huh. So basically, he wrote you a ticket saying that you what you're doing is legal. Right, and then he, he yeah, and I asked him why I was taking the and he said, you're the ticket. It's used on the ticket. It's used on the ticket. It's used on the ticket. That, don't, don't, dog. I don't know what to do about them. I, I, I don't know if we, I, I, I'm gonna tell, I wanna tell Manny to just drive away. What do you mean? No, I'm about to go to jail. That's bullshit, cause that bike is registered. But it's the correct time. I, We have so many fucking Kawasaki's. I have all the registrations. I don't understand that. And it didn't come back to the tag? That's impossible. Yeah, we'll be there in a little bit. Like I said, so I'm going to take your word that you're going to get these corrected, correct? Yes. All of them will be purple or amber, whatever it is. I know Waylon makes the amber lens. Right. So, uh, or you can go back to whoever tinted these for you and have them tint the entire thing instead of just portions of it. You have no clear lights. None. You're not a construction vehicle, you're not a school bus, correct? That's correct. But it does say any vehicle that's escorting vehicles can have it. Clear lights. Okay, where does it say that in the funeral escort? For any kind of escort, such as like uh, commercial escort or vehicle escort or transport escorts can have clear lights. Okay. Uh, were you doing a funeral escort today or were you doing a like... You, I you am doing a, a funeral escort, no, but no, no, I'm no. escorting were moving, vehicles. Were you moving like a portable today for a construction sorry. company? No. Were you moving a bunch of vehicles that are on trailers because they're going from one car dealership like across the street or up the street to another car dealership? No, Corporal. Okay. So today, today, when we stopped you, you were in the uh, in performing your duties for an escort for a funeral, correct? That is correct. Okay. So it doesn't say anywhere in there that you can take and use a little bit of this statue, a little bit of this statue to make your own ball of wax of something statue that Mr. DeWitt has. I, I agree, Correct. Corporal, but it doesn't say we cannot have clear lights. Then it's... I understand. Go ahead. Are you dying? Are you dying? Okay, 
I will call you back. I'm in the middle of something. Okay. Alright, so with that said, unless you can show that you were doing something else that is qualified by you can't use that statue, that statue wouldn't qualify for you anyway. That's talking about removing like portable stuff like that. And it falls back on construction. Okay, but with the clear lights, you were doing this, this is what you're getting the tickets for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain, he's gonna give you the tickets. I wanna make sure we give you the correct statue so there are no confusions. So when you go to court and, and the hearing officer or the judge dismisses the ticket, and a lot of times it could be because the wrong statute's been put on there, mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that this time that doesn't occur, that they have the correct statute that fits it so there's no confusion. So that you don't think that maybe we're messing up. I wanna make sure it's correct, okay? okay so then your major and your attorney for Orange County was incorrect, correct? About what? That our lights are fine. That's correct. If, if they told you that they could be clear, they were incorrect. And I apologize for that. Uh, but I know that you've been told multiple times before that. And if, if you've waited until you had a meeting three weeks ago and continue to do it, that's the same as, you know, thumbing your nose up at us. No. So if, if, they, if they incorrectly told you that, but I, I can tell you this. I just got off the phone with Captain Chapman. And he said that was never told him. They never told you that you could have clear lights on your bike. They never, they never told, let me, his exact words were, we never told them that they could violate any statutes, right. any laws. We're not Those violating the statutes. Okay. We're following the funeral escort you're, you're statute. Not, you're, you're not. And when you have your bikes leapfrogging ahead of the package, in this case the funeral procession, to take an intersection, that is illegal. And I know in the meeting. Only if we're with the funeral lead car, that is not illegal. Okay. This deputy witnessed you holding this intersection, starting to get people through it, and your bike's taking off to go capture the next intersection, all right? And one of our other bikes followed it and witnessed it as well. So they were not even part of the funeral package. They've separated completely from it, and they're leapfrogging. It's called leapfrogging. You know what it's called, okay? So that, that's what occurred here. Listen, we just want you to do the right thing. If, if you do the escorts the correct way, then nobody's going to have anything to say to you except good for you. We think they're needed. We think you are needed. No, you don't, Corporal. Yeah, no, we do. No, you we don't. just want it done right no, before no, somebody gets hurt. You, you kill yourself or somebody else. I'd rather kill myself and keep that I funeral not, safe. I would not, I would not I'd rather keep that funeral not. safe than that not happen. So. Chuck. Here's your information. Uh, since he's issuing these tickets, I'm going to let him explain them to you. Okay. If you have any questions, I'll more than go over it with you. So he'll just give you a quick rundown, and then I'll go through each one of them that way. Maybe you can... Help me real hey, fast. You just your, uh, oh, okay. Card. Maybe you can help me real fast why we're getting our bike towed when we have registrations to... Ver I mean... I have no idea what's happening over there. That we have... We have six Kawasaki's, all the tags. I... I sir, I, I am... I'm here with you, right? Okay. I'm not communicating with anybody Roger. over there, so I don't know what's happening Roger. over there. Yes, Corporal. Go ahead, sir. All right. All right, Mr. Jeremy, listen, three citations, they're all non-moving citations. Right? Roger. So it was $114, had nothing to do with the license. Um, this is for the horn. Okay. Right, with the amber and blue, uh, purple lights we have on there, and for the obstruction jacket. You got all the options on the back. You can pay it, take it to court. So let me let me the obstruction of traffic. Let me explain. Eat, no, no. Let me ask you a question because this floor, I I know the statute, mm -hmm. and it clearly states that as long as I'm not the impediment, that I'm not impeding traffic. Okay. So if the funeral's the impediment, how am I impeding traffic? Well, that that's where you're incorrect. This is not a okay. gridlock citation. Okay. The, the original stand, and that's why I was going to explain to you before you interrupted me, which is fine. I understand. Okay, I apologize. You had a question. I okay? apologize. So the original ticket that he was giving you was for causing a gridlock, and and that's why I had explained to him that technically you weren't because the funeral escort has the right of way. If Correct. It's a green light and you're continuing, so you can't cause a gridlock. Right. That ticket was two hundred sixty-two dollars. Right. Look how much this one is. Sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. So this is a pedestrian entering into a intersection. You can't do that. But I so, wasn't a pedestrian listen, entering an when intersection. When you got off your motorcycle and you started walking around in the intersection, you were no longer on a vehicle. Uh, That's why I told okay. you. I know that the major and the captain didn't tell you that, but they probably told you without being a gnat on the wall or in the room at the same time saying, hey, how are you today, Mr. DeWitt? I'm here for this meeting. I'm pretty confident what they told you is if you pull into the intersection, you're still sitting on your bike, you're there for visibility. Right. Once you get off your bike and you start doing this, 
you are now directing traffic. You are now taking control of that intersection, whether it be a pedestrian or for whatever you want to call it. So if you, if you want to I, fight a $62 ticket, then that's fine. I, I will I, because I, I clearly, and, and as we all know, I would suggest you bring your video. Of course, so, because that officer, so. the reason why I got off my bike was because then your light officer went lights and sirens, and when he was rolling up, I hopped off my bike, and I was like... So why would you hop off your bike? And why wouldn't I? Especially to make sure that the officer knows that I'm not a threat. That just totally makes no sense, but okay. I agree with you, Corporal. Okay. If you believe everything, that's... The, it, it, it's a little, you keep telling me that you want us to do a good job and want to be safe, Listen, but Corporal, it, it, the major told you to be told, safe, you told me it was 100% illegal to be in the intersection. Now you're telling me the major said it was okay. What the major and the captain said, was, yes, sir. And this is coming from the captain, when I just talked to him on the phone, was that they had said if you have a large procession Correct. and you're already in the intersection and you're trying to get them through, they had no issue with you pulling up into the intersection. Okay. Which is what I did. You got off your bike and you're directing traffic. That's not pulling into the intersection. I, That's taking an entire different in, uh, enforcement action. There. I got off my bike because your officer went 97 with me. Okay. Uh, I, 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 if you, you can, say so, Corporal. Call it how you want. Call okay. it how you want, okay? Bring your video and prove, disprove it. I wasn't right, here. Well, I can only tell you what I've been told. So, but let, let me see your tickets. So, Jeff? Yes, Jeff? sir. Let me ask something. I don't know nothing about your business, bro. But have you looked, have you talked to any of the other companies that do this? How yeah, do do and the funny thing is, is Curtis had to change their ways we're doing it because you guys were pulling them over too, not OTD. Oh, so, so they were violating the law. No, no. So then why saying, they changed the ways? So because they got tired of getting tickets. Because they were violating the law. Well, so you're saying doing? I'm violating the law now, and this and ticket I, right here. Not. Let me explain. This ticket right yes, here sir. is the one ticket instead of the 25 plus, because actually it would have been more than 25, but 25 Roger. plus tickets for the clear. Okay, you cannot have a clear on there. You can't, really can't have stroke, but you can't have clear, period. Okay. It has to be, and it clearly states in the funeral escort, it has to be amber or purple. Correct. Okay, the fact that it doesn't say clear doesn't mean that, well, it doesn't say it, so we can do it. it it's not gonna go through and say you can't have the multitude of the color wheels, right. except but four. Then how come you guys don't Harass Curtis with green and amber. I haven't seen them. If I see them, I'll do the same action. Corporal, that's not Let true. me tell you Come something. On, the only reason we're here today is because you used your illegal air horn and drew our attention. We were at Polo Chopper Grill in the back parking lot. I hear you. I, I'm telling you, in the I, back parking lot. I hear lot, you, Corp. Okay? You can barely see the road. Right. We thought, you know what I thought when I heard that? I thought it was one of us. I right. thought somebody stole the car. I'm right. like, maybe somebody's playing the damn horn. Right. That's what I thought. I was like, ooh. Because that's how, that, it wasn't like you hit it, it once. Was, you were it, like, was, yeah, it was constant. Because we were trying to get the vehicle out of the way. I agree. And again, it, go ahead. That's my point, right? it, it says we're allowed to use the air horn. So as long as, yeah, as long as it's not a siren, whistle, or bell, it's legal. Okay, a few. A few minutes. All right, sir, so the okay. second one right here is this is a specific statute for the air horn, okay? Okay. For, for the horn on a motorcycle, okay? So no horn uh, on the motorcycle, it says no horn or warning device shall emit a uh, unreasonable, harsh, or loud sound like an air horn, siren, right? And, and I witnessed But that's this. not what it says in the statute. It doesn't say air horn, siren. It, it doesn't say air horn or siren, you're right. It doesn't right. say that. You're right. He put that in there. But it doesn't matter the Correct. statute. But Look the up. statute is very I'm not, clear. Wait, I'm not going to argue with you, okay? Okay. Because the statute's not clear to you. It's mud to you. And the reason I say it's mud to you is because if it doesn't say something specific, then you figure out that it says this. And I put the and air you horn, make it I up. put air horn and siren in there because yeah. that's what you were using. No, because we only have air horns. We don't have sirens. No, I know. But, I right. air, but it's air the horn. same concept. Yeah. It's the air horn, which is also our siren. Right. Box. So that's what he's doing. Right. But so, it, so that's okay. what you have. And that's so on a $14 fine. You're more than welcome to contest that ticket. Sure. And I would advise you to bring your bike to uh, court when you do that. So the judge can go down and hear your hear horn and, and then let him have a really good, clear determination <laughs> yeah, of if it's illegal or not. But so see, here's the thing, Corp. The, really the judge a, already said as long as it's not a siren, whistle, or bell, which is what the statute says, we can have an air horn. Well, actually, the statute says you can't modify your air horn and you can't use it except in emergency situations. But we were you in an emergency situation, yourself, those cars pulling you out. You cannot put yourself in an emergency situation you, and call it an emergency But we're not situation. doing it in an emergency situation. We're doing an escort of a funeral. That doesn't, and that, that's not an emergency. 
That's, you cannot put yourself in an emergency. Have you? If you were directly behind the last vehicle, or you're the very front vehicle. But that's not what the statute says. Listen, if you're there and there, right. then nobody's going to get in your way to honk the horn because you're staying close to the other vehicle, you're really, right? You are 100% correct. Okay, so for you to be using your horn means that you're passing people, Negative. or people are trying to get into the procession that you don't want in the procession, and you're taking the law into your own hand to go up and tell them to get out of the procession. You've already admitted it here today. I did, did say that, that the truck that cut off the funeral and that stopped in and the funeral. And you went and took law enforcement action. No, I asked Where them to nicely the statute, pull out. Doesn't matter. Where in the statute does it tell you anywhere as a civilian funeral escort anything that says that you can do that? Mm -hmm. It doesn't. But where does it say I can't? Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> it does. All right, Corp. Are, are you a law enforcement officer? No, Corp. Okay. So, here are these. All now, right. I need to see your pepper spray. And I need to see your ass. This is for self-defense and protection. <clears throat> I'm gonna go check right now, but I believe that this is illegal. Do you have do, or do you have a license to carry it? To carry pepper spray? Yep. And this is illegal. You cannot obtain the same size that we do. It's a much smaller can. This is too much. Do you have a license? Like a security license? To carry that, I do not. Okay. So you can't carry this. This is illegal. This is like carrying a concealed weapon. It, right? The fact that you carry this is not the smartest thing in the world because this looks like an ass. The fact that it doesn't have the inner guts to it, anybody else is going to think that. Law enforcement, anyone. Okay? So I'm going to be taking this. I'm going to be taking this. I'm going to get a case number. I'm going to give it to you. Right? And I'm going to be filing charges with the state attorney. Okay? You're going to file charges for carrying mace for safety? It's not for safety. You have smaller cans. You can't carry this large can. It's illegal. State statute says so. There's a difference between self-defense, a small can, and a can this size. This is for law enforcement purposes. I've only. carried that for years. You're the first. Uh, uh, maybe I'm the first squared away person that you've come across. If you say so, far, Well, if you don't think so, then that's fine too. Well, I mean, all right, give me a minute. You, yeah, you went from you're not trying to harass me to now filing charges. What's up, Dylan? Dylan, you up? <laughs> you gotta be fucking. They're filing charges for me carrying mace. Nope, but they're saying that the, the, the can is the wrong size or something. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. This is the first time in five years. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. No, they're just going to file it on paper. This is bullshit, man. This is fucking bullshit. I don't have money. We're, we're gonna have to shut down. We're gonna have to shut down. We're gonna have to shut down. I don't have money. A beer is already cutting me such a break, and I'm, I'm so fucking broke. Dog, you know how long, even if they win a lawsuit, how many years it will take? Dog, you're talking years. We're, we're gonna owe a mere thousands of dollars. They just fucking wrote Manny a criminal citation, dog. Oh, I've been dropped on my head a few times. Or whatever. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna say it again. You invited us into your day, okay? We were at the back of a restaurant and heard your air horn going off repeatedly over and over and over again to the right. point where this deputy has even said he thought maybe somebody stole a police car and was playing around on it. Right. Okay, or broke into one. Right. 
That's how much it was. It wasn't a warning. It wasn't, hey, accident. It was a constant. Right. Okay. Because so listen, we were trying to stop an accident from happening from the eighteen. We did not seek you really. out. Right. I understand. We course. seeked out whoever right. was breaking the law by using that horn. Yep. Now, in the performance of our duties to locate those individuals, we came across you violating additional laws, ones that you've already been told not to do, not to do. Okay. The, the, and you're still doing it. The law that you admitted that the corporal or the captain and the major said we could do. They said nothing about you getting off your bike and directing traffic. I wasn't directing, and the video will you show that yourself, I got off because sir, the officer went 97 with me with his lights and sirens on. Tape and make I sure will, your sir. tape is not edited. Because if it's edited at all, it's not an admission. I agree. Okay? So you will hear where you say you got off your bike and you put your arms up like this. Well, yeah, because the light cycled. The so light cycle. Now you're directing traffic. Because the officer was coming up on me now, now and he had his lights. No, he had his so, lights and sirens on. So you were on. directing traffic for the officer. I wasn't directing traffic. You were sir. trying to assist the officer thinking he was coming through the intersection. I, I wasn't directing traffic, sir. Okay. I, the so officer you were trying pulled to stop up. traffic so he wouldn't get hurt. The officer pulled up, the light cycled, I got off my bike at the same time because he was pulling up, and when I got off my bike, the car started to go and they had a green light. So I said, hold on. And then the officer said, you're getting out of the intersection. And I'm like, these cars are going. And then he rolled up. And then the officer on the other motorcycle held it, had me get on my bike. He did the same thing because he saw the cars were starting to move. He is legally able to. Right. You were not. He can legally do it. Well, you cannot. But what you're telling me is, is I'm supposed to let the accident happen? You got up here before your funeral procession even made it up here. No, sir. Yes, me did. in the van. Because I just... And that's on video. I just talked to him through his window and said, we need to get it very tight and slow down through all this until Mills and on Mills. So we need to keep everyone together or else we're going to lose half of this escort because it was 100 cars. And I just told him that through his window and I was sitting at the green, the red light until it cycled green. And then as soon as it went green, I rolled through with the van. That's 100% the truth, Corporal. Okay. Bring your video and, okay, and, and use that. But doesn't matter. There's nothing in the statute. Nobody has told you that you can get off your bike and direct traffic. By your own admission, you directed traffic. I was advising the cars that had a green light doesn't not matter. to go. That's not your job. So okay. you're advising me to let the accident happen? I'm advising you to stay on your bike and to follow the traffic laws that apply to you. Right. But There's no traffic law that says you can get off your bike because you see an accident getting ready to happen and to take action. That's law enforcement. Not, not under Good Samaritan where I see an accident about to happen. I shouldn't intervene to make sure it doesn't happen. Go read your Good Samaritan law. Okay, sir. Again, I was actually getting off the bike because your officer was pulling up on me to pull well, that's me what over. That's you say now. I mean, you changed it because you... Okay. And if we did notice you, it wouldn't have been any... But then how come you guys didn't notice the 18-wheeler that cut off the escort? And that's why we were blowing our horns and almost caused an accident. And you guys aren't there writing him a citation for entering so, the escort. Which which time? Because you blew your horn multiple times. So which time are you referring to? Was the same semi-truck following you the whole time? Uh, yeah, it entered the intersection and followed us down. And we were trying to which get it out. Which intersection? Right at... Uh, Claire Kona Okoe and, and uh, OBT. Okay. So when and you got that got us that, all the way down to before John Young and 50, OBT. So he followed you all the way down there? In the escort. Because okay. he couldn't figure out why we were telling him to get out of out of the escort's way because he kept stopping. Okay. Where in the statute does it say you can go up and tell a vehicle that's moving down the road that they have to get out of the way? Okay, sir. Again, I was actually getting off the bike because your officer was pulling up on me to pull well, me over. That's what you say now. I mean, you changed it because no, you had... You, no, no, Yes, because that's not what you told oh, me when you first got okay. here. Yes, and, and, and per the deputy himself, you were already off your bike doing what you were doing. So, so I, I'm telling you what I'm okay, calling you, Sergeant. You just so, said it twice, Jeremy. No, I know. I got off. I got off, and I saw the officer, and then the green light cycled, and then I put my hands up. That is correct. Yes. Two different things. What's that? You said that you got off the bike and the other deputy pulled up to you. Right. Because I thought it was you at first. I don't know why. And then prior to that, you said you were getting off your bike and then the deputy pulled up to you. So you see what I'm saying? Right. I was getting... You were going to direct the traffic either way. No. Because if we held the intersection like we were, we w no one would have moved. Can't be off the bike. Probably. Okay. Yes, sir. Get off the bike. All right. All right, Court. That's the deal. Let me We're get your driver's license back. Oh, oh yeah. I don't want to get pulled over for not having that. Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> Corporal, yes, sir. with all due respect, sir, honestly, 
Don't don't misunderstand me and don't misunderstand my smart ass. I know quips. Listen, I, I know that you think you're right and that you think that somebody's picking on you and you feel like you're being listen. I believe listen, I'm being picked listen, on because of who I attacked. am. Listen. Because of who I am. It has nothing to do with who yes, you it are. does. But that's okay. No, listen, of course. To me, it has nothing uh -huh. to do with who you are. Okay? okay. I don't know you. Other than the couple times I met you, I don't know you. And you know, Corporal, right, so listen, the funny thing is I'm wearing this shirt. Done, let me know. I'm wearing this shirt because of you. You know? Because you told me your uniforms look too much like that. And you know what? I went out and spent the money to get away from that uniform per what you said. Okay. Do you ever do your escorts over in Kissimmee? Oh. The I know last time we did one is a long time ago. About it's not been a long two time months ago. ago. It's about a month ago. Yeah. All right. The charity I, I event just, or just, the or the escort? You did a funeral escort about a month ago. I have a friend who works for the Kissimmee Police Department. Guess what uniforms they wear? This? They wear the green. The, 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 the crossing guards wear this in Seminole County, but they're not cops. They're not just, I mean, uh, Osceola. Osceola. I meant, I'm sorry, Osceola. The crossing guards wear this, but they're not cops. They're only crossing guards. The the police don't wear these. The motor guys? They wear full high vis? Because I called Kissimmee PD and they told me they were white. As a matter of fact, I think it's Winter Garden that also wears the lime green. Well, they just went to those okay. after me and the detective talked at Winter Garden because they asked us Listen about these. They don't I, have t-shirts. I don't care what your past is, because obviously that's what you're referring to. I don't know you, okay? I don't, and, and I'm telling you this is my personal opinion. I can't answer for anybody else, but my personal opinion is Captain Chapman doesn't care who you are. The that's only concern so. anybody has is because of the way you do your escorts. So the way you continue to do it after we tell you, hey, you're breaking the law. And, and, and the flagrant continuation of it and telling us you don't do it when we see it. Listen. I'm hearing you, Corporal. Right. That is what the problem is. We don't want to have to come out here and pick you up off the road because you killed yourself doing something stupid. Or one of your people that you have working for you. Or a citizen because you ran into the side of their car and killed them. Okay, but here's the, crossing the street. I'm can not I ask? Done. Okay. All yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. You ask me what the issue is. I'm telling you. Okay. It's because of your constant behavior out here trying to do a legitimate job, but you're cutting corners and breaking the law. The way you fix that is to stop doing that. Start doing the right thing. There is definitely a, a need for escorts for these charity events, for funerals, for runs, whatever it is, okay? We at the sheriff's office don't do them. We used to, we don't do them anymore. Because not of allowed liability, to. right, I understand. No, it's because the sheriff said, we're not doing them unless I tell you. So right. we don't do them, right. okay? We, me personally, I don't care to do them. Right. It's just a hassle, but whatever my boss tells is, me I'm going to do, I'm going to do. It is a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, but whatever he tells me I'm going to do, okay? Right. So it doesn't affect me, okay? It doesn't affect everybody that's in motors. It right. doesn't affect the people. But what it does is affect, it affects the public. And when they see you doing some of the stuff they do, two things are happening. One, they're going, look at that guy breaking the law, and law enforcement does nothing to him. And it's not like a one-time incident. It's constant, okay? We have people that come up to us on a regular basis who don't know who you are and say, are the cops allowed to do this? Are they allowed to do that? And they describe you and your bikes. All the way down to saying it's Metro something. What agency is that? Uh -huh. Okay, so that's one issue. The other issue is the way you do it out here, you put yourself and others in jeopardy, all right? And that's not fair to us to have to roll up on your crime because you killed yourself or your buddy or a civilian, and now we have to peel you up off the asphalt and it be subjected to that because we told you over and over again to stop and you're not listening. But can I ask you a question now? If you think that it's this important to do these things, which I agree, there's a need for it. Yeah. Then you need to go to Congress, state Congress, okay? Go up there and or go to Tallahassee and lobby. Right. So the laws can be changed to accommodate your needs to do this. And I, I can assure you, if you do that, nobody, nobody is going to Sorry about play. that. Nobody's going to complain. Right. Nobody's going to have an issue with it. Nobody's going to go, oh, whoa, 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 we don't want them doing it because. Because I'm telling you, we don't care as long as it's legal. If you come out here and it says that you can go and leapfrog, guess what? We're going to watch you go by and not say nothing. Look, if it says you can use the air horn, we're going to watch you go by and say nothing. corporate doesn't say we can't leapfrog. Okay. The statute doesn't say you can't put on tinted uh, light covers either. 
Okay, but you can go to any auto zone and you can buy, buy the headlight covers for tinted lights, correct? Right. Here, I'll break it down even simpler for you because obviously it's difficult for you to con to take this anything that's complex and understand it. It is. Okay. Tinted windows. Right. It says it can be 18%. Correct. It doesn't say it can be 3%. It just says it can't be more than 18%. Right. 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 So if you put 3% because they sell it. But in but the funeral statute, it. it doesn't say only purple and only rotating. What it says is purple or amber lights will be used. But it doesn't say only. Well, so there's your semantics of it doesn't say only. But you're saying so only So what you're 18. saying is it should give out the entire color wheel of the world and say you can't use all these colors with the exception of. No, I'm not. That's what you just said. I'm not. Because you said it didn't say only. It well, says, there's a list of two colors. So when the average person with the average common sense, Amber average common sense would say right. that probably those are the only two colors you can use, you're going to sit here and tell me everybody in law enforcement who reads that statute interprets it wrong except for you? Everybody but Orange County. No. Motors. No. Really? Yes. Because I haven't gotten a purple-white ticket anywhere else all over the Tri-County area. And all I can tell you to that is that obviously somebody is not doing their job or they're turning a blind eye to it. And you yourself have said, Seminole County turns a blind eye to it, Osceola County turns a blind eye to it, why can't you? Not not a blind eye, they just don't, they don't stop us because they say no, that they we're within the eye. law. No, you're so, not within the law, they just choose not to do anything. Then, uh, so Curtis running us, Amber and Green listen, how come, and, see, and, and Wigwags, if You're, I see, that's clear. if I see them doing that, I will take the same action. I just don't see them. They do just as many of that squirts as us a day. I can so. tell you, I don't see everybody. You're just like the guy that says, hey, I was speeding next to those other two vehicles. Why didn't you pull them oh, over? I can only do one person at a time. If, if I'm doing just something so wrong. happens today, you invited us into your game. I hear you. Did you I not? You. I hear you, Corporal. It was your air horn. We were finishing up lunch. The last thing we were looking at doing was coming over here and messing with anybody. Okay? That was your invitation to it, not ours. Say, Corporal, I mean, but then you're talking about the intersection and how the major is saying, here's the thing, let I'm me ask you a question. Anymore. You're saying, I know, I know you're not. But let me ask you a question, and, and, and whatever. Curtis has been in business 10 years, and they have, Listen, last year alone, have, have this, they had seven S accidents last kids? year. No, I don't. Okay, well, I do. I have four kids. They range from nine years old to three-year-old, okay? So I'm pretty well-versed in the kid market, okay? I don't like tattletales. Oh, I'm not tattletales. I'm, I'm trying to point I've out. I listen to you. Okay. Now you do give me the same respect. I don't like tattletales. I understand. And I really don't like it when my kids come and try to compare what they did to what the other one did, uh, okay? Because guess what? Whatever happened over there is not happening right now. I agree with you. So you this should isn't, focus on yourself. I apologize. I'm focusing on you. I've told you that several times. I'm focusing on what you have done. Right. I don't know what Curtis has done because I haven't seen it. And so for you to sit here and even give the impression of I'm only looking at you and not Curtis is totally false. But that's the only and, thing and, and you can see, And it's quite troubling sir. and it's quite aggravating because that is the furthest thing from the truth. I am a fair person with everybody. Everybody. Okay? Really, sir? Absolutely. Okay, if, sir. If I stopped Curtis and I had been out with Curtis as much as we have been out with you and, and I knew that they were doing that continuously after being told not to, I would treat them the exact same way. Okay? Then let me ask you a question. Not naming any company, sir. They had seven accidents last year. They had ten the year before that. They've already had five this year alone. I've had one in five years, and the only accident I've had is my own because the car that was in the funeral turned into me because he said he didn't hear me. So, because you were passing the procession at the time. No, no, yes, you actually, were. no, 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 yes, no. You were. you were passing it, the guy No, out. in fact, we have the video, and the judge threw out the Florida Highway Patrol's ticket okay. because I was following per statute directly behind him like we were supposed to, and he decided to jam on his brakes because he was passing his neighborhood and decided to turn left into his neighborhood. And when he jammed on his brakes, my partner and I dumped clutch, emergency evaded, he made it to the right, I went to the left, and he turned left into me. And that's the absolute truth because he didn't know we were there because we weren't honking loud enough, he said. So, well, there's nothing in the statute that gives you the authority to honk. Okay, they can, listen to me. 
they're not going to write out a statute with every possibility of what somebody may think later on. I agree. They with make you. it very simple so that people can understand it. The average common sense person can understand it. When you start saying because it doesn't say or it doesn't have this word, okay, that kind of loop. That's why statutes are so long because of stuff like that. I understand. Okay? So that's what you're creating is you're creating a rewrite of the statute, which could because, very well be even worse for you. Because the statute is antiquated and we keep arguing about people's safety. Are, 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 and are you, are you petitioning to get that changed? I Who guess I have to. Have you started to petition it? No, because I would figure when OPD pulled us aside and said, OPD you, is one agency oh. in the state of Florida. There's 67 municipal or counties in the state of Florida. I understand. Okay, so in un, uh, over 200 municipalities, because every one of them has multiple but cities. But then why so listen, is it only Orange said, County? With that said, you're telling me because OPD told you, no, no, it's no, all good. No, no, of course not. No, because of course you're the same not. person that told me that. Well, in Miami, they let them run red and blue lights down there, and nobody cares. Right. But okay. we don't run red, blue lights. But it lights. doesn't matter. Tell me where in the statute that that's legal. You're right. It's not. Okay. That's why we have purple. You don't have purple. Like you, said. you have a mixture of purple and clear. Correct? Yes, purple. Okay. So, therefore, you know you can only have purple. You know you can only have amber. You choose to have the double, whether it be for visibility or for whatever the reason is. Of course, is. it's for visibility. But it's still illegal. You can't do it. And you're trying to justify it by rewriting the statute in your head and trying to convince deputies or police officers when they stop you. Okay. What's I sad? Stop. What's sad? Corp? I cannot speak for okay. other law enforcement agencies that are lazy. I hear you. And I can tell you this: I am not lazy. I see that. The guys that work for me are not lazy, and I if they that. are, they're not gonna be lazy. I agree. Okay? So that's why the sheriff's office enforces the traffic laws that we see that are violated, because we are not lazy individuals here. I, we no one ever called you do, lazy. Listen, we come out here to do our job. I agree. Okay? So we have given you three tickets today. We could have given you many more. I agree. Okay. We are going to file but you're charges also on you. Piling yeah. charges. So. And, and well, if the state picks up, because it is a capious, right? It, it, if the state decides I'm going to, to file pick up with the state, and the state okay. will decide whether they want to pursue right. the charge or not. Okay. That's the fairest way to do it. That way, it's not me thinking exactly what I believe. That's giving a group. Oh no. A round table effect I, of it. Okay? I'm sure you'll that's the you'll fairest, word it very professional. That's the fairest thing to yes. you. Yes, perfect. Is to give a round table effect to it. I can word it myself and take you to jail right now. And it I gets me, you gets thrown out. It is what it is. You still took the ride. Go to jail. But I understand. the fact is, out of respect for you, and the, the the fact that you just may not truly understand the statute, I'm going this way. Corporal. Are you a convicted felon? I am. Are you allowed to possess weapons? I'm not, but mace is not a weapon. It's a self-defense weapon. Okay, so... It's a self-defense. It's a self-defense. It cannot be used as a weapon? Well, of course, but I'm not carrying a taser or a beanbag. Okay. Is, is a knife a weapon? Yes. It's for self-defense. Cutting uh, up fish. I, I mean, sure. It's a, it's a tool. Yeah, but it can be used. But it has it's to be a, a certain length. It's a screwdriver. No, it if doesn't. it's concealed, that is correct. Yes, it okay, is considered a concealed weapon. Yes, it's for fixing parts, taking that is parts off of cars and that is and correct. The house and everything. But there's it a difference weapon, when you're using it in a different manner, or you're concealing it in a different manner. I'm having it. Are you a police officer? No, I'm not. Are you a licensed security officer? I'm not anymore. But I have it stowed in Are a clearly. Are you a clearly... licensed security officer? No, sir. Okay. So therefore, why would you have law enforcement grade issued pepper spray? That's honestly, God knows that I'm telling you the truth, even though I'm we're, we're going back and forth. I didn't know it was law enforcement grade. I do apologize. I just went to the store and bought it. But I know that doesn't change anything. I, I agree. Is this I understand. Spray? It is, which is actually no, very is shocking. Well, oh, well, I mean, yeah. But it's exactly like yours. I you understand that. Thought, well, that's mine. No, this one's mine. Look, it's identical. I, I see that. I see that. But but you, as, as the date, I don't know because mine's been in and out a few times. But right. the date from manufacturer could be different. But otherwise, this is the exact same. But you know spray. that I'm I'm wearing it Listen. properly, displayed properly to advise Why the general public for safety. Spray? Do you know how many people threaten Why us? Why would you wear a baton? That, Whether that, it has the guts in it or not. Why would you wear it? Why would you wear a magazine pouch? I carry my Leathermans in that. In my Leatherman in that. Those are magazine pouches for ammo. Okay. You put yourself in the position where you're going to walk into that Starbucks one day or that 7-Eleven and somebody's going to be robbing it. They're going to see you and think you're a police officer and they're going to shoot you and kill you. And what are you going to pull out? Your hollow stick? Your pepper spray? Your right. defense? You're right. You put yourself in that position and now you're mad at me because I'm trying to protect you. By filing charges on me? No. Hey, 
You've been told I'm mad. how many times. We've had this, this conversation This is the first before. time you've ever told me no, about mace. I've told you I mean, about you've even belt. seen the mace before. Listen, I did not see it before. So you saw it at the airport, sir. No, I wasn't. You even asked I me about it. I wasn't particularly looking. Well, if I did, I don't recall and it. I, and I pulled out my baton and even showed you the insides no, at that, the airport. That's 100% not correct. I know for a fact I have never looked at your ass. I have been told that you have a, a rubber tube for an ass or a I apologize. Tube. The baton wasn't you. I, okay. I apologize. That, I was, never looked, that was Corp. I've never the, asked. the truck officer from I, Sector 4. I have just 4. told you by looking at your gun belt that you give the perception of law enforcement and okay. you shouldn't do that. Okay? I told you that. Mm -hmm. You didn't take the hint. You've been stopped multiple times, and I know people have told you, you're making yourself look like a cop. Right. And you still continue to do it, okay? Security guards out there who are not armed don't carry ammo pouches, don't carry all the same things you do, to include the same radios that we carry. They don't do oh, it. The radios Turn are around, so let me we, see. So we can commune. Okay, is that, that radio's not even on. Right now it's not, no. Okay, yeah. so that gives the, me the impression that it's not even a real radio. Did you just happen to give that impression? I mean, but do you see how that looks? I understand, Corey. You can tell me it's not, but look at the impression it gives. But here's the thing. If I, we're talking about my uniform store, right now. Listen, uh -huh, if somebody listen. walks into a store carrying a shotgun, mm -hmm. where does everybody's impression in there? He's going to rob the place. Right. Right? They don't know he's bringing it in there to get it fixed because Walmart fixes shotguns. Right. Everybody thinks he's going to rob the place. Right. The impression is set. Yeah. You have set your impression, and people think on occasion that you're a police officer. All right. I have driven by on the 408 going the opposite <laughs> way and seen you going by, not specifically you, but your company, and thought that those were police officers. All right? So I have seen it. I, I know for a fact that police have stopped you all, and when they stopped you before the fact, they thought you all were police officers. They thought it. It's only after they got close enough that they realized you weren't. Right. So the impression you're giving is that you're a police officer. You don't have to say it. Okay? Okay. The impression you're giving when you're out here directing traffic is that you have authority, and you don't. Corporal, we're not directing Listen. traffic. I, honestly, we're not. I'm not going to argue. Okay. Put your arms up. You said you put your arms up to stop traffic because traffic was moving. Because stop. the light I'm turned? not asking okay. you. I am telling you what you said. Roger. Okay, it doesn't matter what the light did. That is giving a, a, somebody the impression that there's authority there. Because the only people who do that is law enforcement. Okay. So you're putting yourself in this position. You don't want to be in that position? Change all that. That's all you got to do. Change it. Do the right thing. Hell, I bet if you came to the sheriff's office and said, hey, I think I realize you're right. I've been making some mistakes here. Can you tell me and sit down with me and, and let me tell you my game plan on how to do it and am I doing it right so we don't have these interactions anymore? That's what we I did. I bet. No, what you did is said, came and said, hey, can you give us a break and stop harassing us? Not because the first time, Corporal. Okay. In fact, you're Spanish, Corporal. I don't know if he's Spanish or Indian. I apologize. I, I can't. I'm bad with names. He specifically told us, one in the front, one in the back, like you all keep saying, even though that's not what the statute says. The statute does say that. One in the front, one in the back, when the you accident have, happens, you when the accident- in the middle, too. <laughs> and when you can't the, have on the sides, you can't right. be running ahead of each other. We, we weren't running ahead. When, when the accident happens, call you guys, you'll come out and do the accident investigation, and then cite them for having the accident. I said, so you want me to let the accident happen? He said, yes. So that's not trying to figure out a game plan. Well, listen to me. You cannot take any law enforcement action. We're not. Anything, anything that directs the general public or traffic to deviate from what they're doing is taking law enforcement action. Word it however you want in your own head. That's taking law enforcement action. But if we're not. Of, listen, I'm listening. You're more than welcome to go in front of a judge and say, hey, I think I'm legally able to tell somebody to get out of my escort when I'm escorting a funeral because they entered into it. And I can guarantee you they're going to laugh you out of that. Well, then I'll take that ticket. I'll take that ticket. Well, I'm, if I'm wrong, I, I'm today. wrong. But, Corporal, the tickets you wrote me today aren't, uh, except for the purple and white is what you're saying, I wasn't wrong here. The air horn, and even the major. Air horn is illegal. You can't have it. You can't be using it. It doesn't say you can use it during escorts. It doesn't say you can ever use it. You cannot use it. It's illegal. Okay? So we know that that's correct. I, whether you want to admit to it or not. It says sirens, bells, or whistles. We cannot use sirens, bells, or whistles. That is not a siren, bell, or whistle. Just because you're doing the escort does not mean that other statutes don't apply. The statute that does not apply, that does not go into that escort, is the fact that you cannot have a modified horn on your bike, which you have. Okay? It has nothing to do with escort. You're 100% right. You have finally today learned at least one thing. A 
okay? And that is that the horn statue that you got the ticket for has nothing to do with the escort. You were right. But we're using the tick the you horn. You cannot use the horn for emergency to alert you the public. Cannot, That's exactly what the statute says. You cannot create okay. an emergency. But we're okay? not creating an emergency. If you really want to be particular, that, that particular statute you were written for is not for that. But if you want to be particular, the statute says on open highway, illegal use of a horn on open highway. Right. Okay. For emergency purposes only. That's on open highway. Right. I'm not on a highway. I'm okay. on a municipality so street. The statute you were written for was having a horn that you're not allowed to have on your bike. Okay. That's what it's for. So you can, in semantics, the statutes that mean different things. It's probably the statute there because of somebody like you who came and said, well, that doesn't apply. So you know what? They set up in uh, Tallahassee. We're going to write this because we're tired of that so I'm actually what that tickets for is just because I have the air horn on my bike because not because I was using it. it on a motorcycle it's not allowed okay look but, up the statute yourself I'll, I'll look it up but all right that, so we know that that's correct you'll eventually understand it the next one all right coming into the intersection getting off your bike and walking around the intersection wasn't cannot do that I was standing right there when the officer pulled up did because the officer he you, was did officer lights and sirens you? did he direct you to get off your bike no, he didn't direct me to get okay, off my so bike. so therefore, you've admitted that he did not direct you. You took it upon yourself to get, to get off, off the to bike let him know that I was doing a funeral. Yes. So, so therefore, you once again have made a mistake. But, That's but a what you're mistake. riding me for is impeding traffic. I wasn't the impediment, even it's standing the in the intersection. Is. That it's, it's is what it is. It's being a pedestrian in the intersection. You can't do that. Read oh, the full okay. statute. Read the full statute. Well, Corporal, right. I wasn't a pedestrian Listen, into the intersection. You, I became a pedestrian you in the to intersection. You be a motor person, correct? A motor right. Man. And we you, follow I mean, the law. You, you we follow it, the 316. You, you wear the badge. You, okay. I mean, you got everything on that says you're a motor officer, correct? Yes. Okay. A motor officer does everything from his bike. That right? is correct. When, when I worked in Mounted, everything to include arrest, we did from the top of the horse. Right, that I is true. I handcuffed you everything from on top of the horse. Where would you get off? So I agree. why would you get off and go away from safety? Because if you're on the bike and somebody can ready hit you, you can at least accelerate out of it. When you get off the bike and put yourself out in the intersection, now you've created a bigger hazard for yourself. So either you're a poor motorman or your intention was to get off and direct traffic. It was you were not directed by the law enforcement to get off. Correct? Correct. Okay. So all I'm, right. I'm not going to debate it. All right, My throat's Bart. getting sore. Good all right, Bart. Have a good day. Thank you for your time. All right. Thanks, sir. Ride safe. Motherfucker! My bike won't start now because they fucking kept me on the side of the road for so long. <laughs> fucking bullshit, dog. And they're gonna leave me. I'm gonna assume your bike's dead too. Do you have jumper cables? I, 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 I don't. No. I have a jumping system, but not cables. But you don't have a bike, so. Yeah, and I don't, we have jumper cables, not a jumping system. Yeah. And you don't have cables that you hook up. No, I, I don't have jumper cables on the bike. I have just the jumping system. I cannot believe that. But here's a road ranger. You're, can I flag him down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> I can't direct traffic, but I can wave down the road ranger. That shit's funny as fuck. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm listening to you, Dylan. I'm fucking gonna go to jail. What do you mean what happened? They gave me the fucking, the baton and uh, the mace and baton. <laughs> and then they gave me only a pedestrian standing in the intersection. They dropped all the other shit. Oh, uh, the purple and white. The purple and white. Oh, but the Road Rangers got white and blue, yellow. Hey, hey, sir. Right. Listen, they, we were on a. They, the, I was here with the officers, and the, the the bike died. Can I get a jump from you? Sorry about that. Oh. Let me get closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Manny? All right. Where are you? Okay. Oh, what's going on with that?
Whatever. I, the Road Ranger's got amber and clear. He's not moving escorts. He's not construction. The state certified vehicle's got amber and clear. You know, our base is just, you know, for the traffic light. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. It was funny because the, the, the Orange County officer told me to tell you to come on over. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up? What do you need? Uh, there's all kinds of shit going on right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't, I, 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 I'm going to the lawyer's office right now. But it's, it's, it's bullshit. It's the exact same thing. It's the same officer. It's the same person harassing us. It is the exact same man. And he sat here and told me that the, that meeting never happened. It doesn't exist. So I called the lawyer and, and it's all on video. We're, we're, I'm fucking done. I want to file a lawsuit right here. If I tell not to be. Yeah. No. So. It's, it's the maid. Oh, I just he said I had it. That's fine. It's hooked. It's hooked. He's just saying I can't have it. Yeah, he's yeah, he's saying it's not. Could you turn the key for me? Just turn the key. Yeah, and then push that button right there. Uh, which one? That one right up, up, right there. Yep. That's it. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, I had to get my battery jumped by Road Ranger because um, I had my lights on the whole time during the traffic stop because I wasn't going to turn my lights off and look like a criminal in front of three motors. So, and he complained about that. So that's fun. But I don't give a fuck because I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm going to sue. I can't, I can't keep going. I can't afford it. We did nothing wrong, nothing illegal at all. They wrote me, they wrote me 25 tickets. 25 tickets. Three citations. They're all non-moving citations. Project. Three citations. 25 tickets. 25 tickets. Yeah, hold on, it gets better. Then, yeah, hold on, let me finish. They wrote me 25 tickets. And then I argued with them. My lawyer, because I called, talked to the lawyer, he said, don't argue with them. Just don't talk. Which, you know, I couldn't do. I had to talk. So then I talked and I argued. And before the converse, before they left, before everything ended, it went from, it went from 25 tickets to only two non-moving violation tickets. Only two non-moving violations. One, having purple light, which is funny for the airport company, and two, standing in the intersection, which the major from our county said they were So... How unbelievable was that? All the back and forth Jeremy DeWitt did in this old video really shows a young Ramsey and a young Jeremy as they both learned uh, how to handle each other. And of course, we all know where this ended up in now that we're in the future. And let's not forget for the next seven years after this traffic stop, Jeremy DeWitt continued to insist that Corporal Ramsey wrote him 25, 30, 60 tickets this day. But remember, G uh, Corporal Ramsey didn't write him not a single ticket. Uh, that other guy did. The, all those tickets came from him. And he only got three tickets. But Jeremy DeWitt filed a complaint and put it on record that Corporal Ramsey, multiple times over the next seven years, he kept using that. Let's listen to that. I'll be happy, Sergeant, when I get a letter from okay. the Sheriff's Office saying that they need to go back and change the letter they sent me for putting the amber in with the purple because this nice Corporal wrote me what was it 60 tickets or 30 tickets in one traffic stop for having one? So that was in 2019 when Jeremy was still saying this. And then it came up again in the internal investigation of Corporal John Ramsey uh, just before he got disciplined because of the complaint that Jeremy filed. Let's listen to what happened in Corporal John Ramsey's internal complaint investigation. 
And then DeWitt and I sat down the side of the road, and he claims that I've written him multiple tickets. I don't think I've ever written him one ticket. Okay. I just, I just well, that's that. want to be, so, want to be clear. I know. So there, I'm getting to it. Was that back in 2015 or was that 2015. And 2015. And then. So it really is unfortunate to see the actual video, Jeremy's body cam video nonetheless, showing that Ramsey really cut him a break and was trying to, uh, he wasn't trying to go hard on him, he was trying to advise him, and he could have taken him to jail and he could have uh, gotten him for that concealed weapon, that pepper spray, but he didn't, he went easy on him, but Jeremy, what did he do? He immediately started to lie to his wife and to his brother and to his men, and then he continued to lie about what happened for seven years trying to I don't know get himself out of trouble at that I don't know but it's just very unfortunate one other thing I want to do is go back and count the number of cars in that funeral procession by the way because Jeremy DeWitt said he had how many you guys only hired two there's like 80 there's almost 100 cars how okay. many vehicles did you have in your escort today we had 110 there was 110 cars yes, in that sir. escort there's 110 vehicles. I don't think so, guys. I know so, sir. Oh, my God. Deputy, it's there for, 110 vehicles in that escort? It was for a seven-year-old. There 110 cars on the road. <laughs> there weren't even that many on the road when you went by. There was a, it's for a seven-year-old little boy, and there's 110 cars. We counted as they uh, left the so cemetery. So you have 110 cars, and you only use them three bikes? How safe is that? Now let's listen in on the lie that he wants his brother to start telling. You need to... It's 45 cars after we cut it off of the 105. Jeremy's on the phone with his brother trying to convince his brother to pretend it was 105 vehicles in the funeral because he wants to go to the news and say that they were only able to barely get 45 cars there and it was because of Orange County deputies. Did you hear me? It's 45 cars that you finished escorting after we had to cut off the 105 that we had. Yeah, it was, 100, it was 102 or 105. Yeah. Jeremy has a lot of different numbers here. He said there's been 80, there's 100 cars, there's 102, there's 105, there's 45. No, I know. We had to cut off half the family because that would have been unsafe if we kept them going. Dog, that's a lot of fucking cars. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's too many for just three of us, bro. I got this light. I'm in the far left of the left wheel track, left lane. Watch the cross. Now there's the lead van right there. Let's call it vehicle number one. Cross traffic as you guys are moving up Princeton. Lots of people don't pay attention. Business is in home. Business is in home. Watch it. You almost look sexy, Dylan. Almost. Is the red Audi part of the escort? Okay. You moving, Manny? Yep, you forgot to advise. We gotta know. This is a bad day. Watch this, Lexus. OPD Motors, OPD Motors is coming. OPD Motors is coming. What did you guys do? What, what? Why are all these cars red? Go well, through at a red light. It's a funeral, sir. Yeah, you can't block a road like this. You yes, know that? sir, we just got done with your lawyer and Captain Chapman along, and they said yes we can along with the major. This is the last vehicle. Let, come on, come on. Yeah, he's saying we can't hold. So that's the number, 36 cars, including the funeral director. And Jeremy DeWitt even lied to the funeral director and said they had way more than that. And he lied about how many men are actually working. Why did he say he had two when he actually had three? Surely the funeral director knows what's going on. Hey, listen, I have another part of this video because, as you heard there, Jeremy's man was getting pulled over, Manny and uh, got the bike towed or something like that. You want to find out what happened in that video? I'm going to post it. It's going to be on Police Tube, so make sure you subscribe. And look in the description. I want you to subscribe to my newsletter because 
it's an email newsletter. And what will happen is you, if you would have already been subscribed, you would have got a little early access to some of the information that was in this video. And if you subscribe to it now, um, I'm going to send you some early access information of this next video and some future videos. And I don't spam anything out. You know, I'm, I just use this to communicate with people about important videos. I let you guys know about it. And then I also want to keep it as a backup just in case anything ever happens to PoliceTube that I can send out a email to everybody and stay in contact with some people that want to stay in contact with uh, PoliceTube and the Jeremy DeWitt community. So make sure you check the links in the description. I appreciate you guys watching this and make sure you stay tuned to PoliceTube so you can check out the other parts to this video. And look at my uh, PoliceTube channel and look at my videos. I've got a whole bunch of Jeremy DeWitt videos that a lot of people have never even seen. I think I've published more Jeremy DeWitt unseen videos than anybody else. Um, probably more Jeremy DeWitt videos than anybody else also. So definitely a good source. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment down below. And uh, every comment that you leave, every comment that's left, I read every comment. I want to let you guys know that. Also, make sure you ca uh, call my 1-800 number. If you guys give me a call and just let me know what you're thinking about Jeremy DeWitt or, you know, what you're doing with your days. I love hearing from you guys. That's part of YouTube, you know, the back and forth. Thanks for watching. And as always, have yourself a great day.